So in a lot of beginning healers, uh, they find that it is quite exhausting to heal. And one of the things is, again, the ego, of course, is that we have a very strong sense of giving. I'm giving you something. I'm going to give you healing. I'm going to do it for you. And of course, as soon as I say really strongly, I'm going to give it to you, if I give you something, then I have nothing left. So therefore, the whole thing for a healer is to soften the idea of giving. And really, the next step would be sharing. So if I'm giving something to you very strongly, then I have nothing left. If we share the healing together in that deep interconnectedness space, then we can say we have at least half-half, right? But that is the next step. So the journey of a healer has many different steps. Then there comes a healer where we realize there is nothing to give, no giver and no receiver, just to be together in this universal soup, in this universal great bright light of full potential, of full healing. And then actually the healer discovers that, man, maybe I should pay you because it feels so good to do a healing on you. And that rejuvenates actually the healer. So that both receive healing at the same time. 